Well, here's a quick story about how I bought and I'm now returning the Everyday Sling from Peak Design, the six liter version. So I'm on my way to run some errands, one of which is to return this at Best Buy, um, mainly because it just wasn't for me. And I guess I should have known. I have bought a sling from Peak Design in the past. I don't know if you guys remember or seen that video of, um, I believe it's the, the 10 liter sling, uh, the first version. So I bought that. I'll link that video if you're interested, thinking that was going to be kind of like my everyday bag. Um, and the biggest reason, I never did a follow-up video for that, but the biggest reason why I didn't keep it was because I couldn't pack it down. So I wanted it, the purpose of that sling, the 10 liter, was for me to bring it in a suitcase or in an other bag to, if I have a bigger bag, I can go to the location and then have a smaller bag. But, it didn't happen because the 10 liter sling first version was was very big, was very wide. So I wasn't a big fan of that. So that was the biggest reason why I returned it. Just, yeah, I saw no real use for it. So in came the six liter version two sling thinking, okay, I just posted a video about the one bag travel using the Peter McKinnon nomadic backpack. Perfect, I can use the sling as like my personal item where I can sit when I'm on the airplane. I can have a nice small pack, maybe have my camera, my iPad, all that stuff. But the way the bag is shaped, it was very hard to fit a camera with an iPad. Just simply that uh, combo was actually really, really hard and I didn't like it. I felt like I was squishing the either the iPad or the camera, the lens, which isn't great. So I just didn't feel comfortable. I didn't like how tight it was. Now I know this is a six liter. Again, I didn't go with the 10 for that same reason because I just felt it was gonna be too big. Now these version twos, they do slim down. You can squish them down and essentially pack it in a suitcase or whatever. But the more I used it on that trip, the more I just didn't see a real need for it. Honestly, I would rather just bring a backpack, whether it be just a lighter backpack for that stuff. So I'm gonna go return it. But before we head out to run a few errands, I have to go to the bank as well. Um, this wonderful package here from James Coffee. Uh, I ordered this about a week, week and a half ago and it arrived while I was on vacation, or not vacation, but when I was out of town. Um, but I'm really excited, so let's check out what I got. manage to not break it one-handed. Put one here, another one there. Receipt, sweet. So as you can tell, no, I didn't buy any coffee, at least not this time around. I'm still trying to perfect the, the milk, the latte milk. So I did go ahead and place an order for a reusable straw. I've been meaning to buy one of these for a very long time, especially if I'm going out um, or traveling, I really wouldn't mind bringing this along. Um, that way I just, you know, for the environment. Oh yeah. I bought two of these because I couldn't help myself. Plus I was like, if I'm paying for shipping, might as well make it worth it. But I got these smaller version. They do sell, oh, that's nice. They do sell taller versions of these glasses. But iced coffee, I know, I'm sure it's gonna taste just a little bit different. Okay, so glad I got that unboxing done. I was really excited, been wanting to check that out. Um, now let's go run some errands. I'm gonna go return 
a Peak Design bag. Now don't get me wrong, the 6 liter sling can hold quite a bit. I'll kind of show you guys like a run through of what I had in it. And this was on the way back, I did have it a little bit lighter. On the way to Chicago, on the flight, I had the Clean Light Air, my Nintendo Switch with the grip case um, shelving on it. I had the Nomad battery pack, the iPad with the smart with the magic keyboard. Um, I had like that thing was packed to the brim. So when, when you do have it really packed, what I, what I didn't really like is that that front zipper where I had my wallet, uh, eye drops, chapstick, whatever, I had to like stick my hand in that front pocket because it's so tight. And if I wanted to take my iPad out, I had to take almost everything out from the main compartment and then be able to push in from the back and pop it out to slip it to slip the iPad out which is really annoying that you have to empty your bag to get your iPad now putting back in that definitely was a nightmare if you had the pack uh, the main compartment with any little thing you had to empty it out put the iPad first so in offloading the iPad and putting back in at the airport, for instance, that was really, really uh, hard. It was just really cumbersome having to take out every little thing to slip out the iPad. And then at the end of the day, you know, you're trying to rush through at the end of the security point. You have to put everything back in. So it was more, it was just more of a hassle than what I had wanted. And again, going back to that one bag travel, I really did, I missed having a backpack for my just my main daily things that I want to use while on the airplane. Just arrived, Best Buy. Now I did want to point out before I actually go and return it, don't let this stray away from the bag. The bag itself is amazing, the quality is great, it just wasn't for me. I'm still on the quest on finding that perfect backpack travel combo um, and now that I have to think about my health, uh, it just makes things a little bit harder. So if you are interested in the Peak Design 6 liter bag, I mean the 6 liter sling, I think it's great if you are a true minimalist or do not have a lot of stuff that you want to carry around. Uh, it's I bought the Midnight Blue. The Midnight Blue color is really, really awesome. I really liked it. It sucks, I wish that I could keep it, um, but ultimately it just wasn't for me and it's okay. I think that's what bags are for. I'm very pro, go buy it, use it for a little bit, check it out, fill it up and just see how you feel. That's the only way you're gonna find at least something because there's no perfect backpack. All right, so, but enough. Time to get my money back for this. And before I get yelled at, Before I get yelled at, of course, I had to put on my mask. Very, very important. Always put your mask on when you go out. Well, uh, that was that. I returned it. It was really simple. Uh, the associate, the Best Buy associate that was there who did the return, I wish I caught her name because she was really, really awesome, really fantastic. Um, she was really surprised at how much the Peak Design 6 liter sling was. She was like, uh, I would have guessed 50 bucks, but 100? Ugh. I'm like, I know, it's a very expensive like addiction. Um, but she was awesome, so thank you Best Buy for making that return super easy. Now I'm actually still needing to record the one bag travel bag, which would have already been out by the time you're watching this video. But in case you were wondering for some reason why I'm wearing the same stuff, it's because I'm shooting both of those videos at the same time. I'm probably gonna end this video here so I can go finish up the one bag tra travel video, as well as finish up setting up a scene for work that I need to shoot some stuff as soon as my dad gets here, as he's my male model. Um, but that's it for today. That was my short-lived Peak Design Everyday Sling 6 liter bag story. So, we'll see you in the next one. Comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already, and stay safe.